Hello, my name is James Bogert, and I will be reviewing the EAST landmark paper on umbilical hernia management in patients with liver cirrhosis and ascites. Umbilical hernias are present in 2% of the general population. However, in cirrhotics with ascites, that number rises to 20%. Surgical dogma dictates non-operative management for these patients due to worry of high complication rates in elective repair. However, recent advances in medical management of ascites has called this into question. The purpose of this review is a reappraisal of the literature to assess for the safety of an elective umbilical hernia repair in cirrhotics with ascites. The authors found that expected management is high risk. 70% of patients will require hospitalization for their umbilical hernia, and 50% of those will require an emergency surgery with its associated high complication rate. Elective repair, on the other hand, can be performed with low complication rates. Ascites control is key. The medical management of ascites includes sodium restriction and liberal use of diuretics. In those not responsive to medical management, drainage procedures should be employed. These include paracentesis, peritoneal dialysis catheter placement, or TIPS. In patients whose ascites is controlled with medical management, elective hernia repair is recommended. In patients with refractory ascites who have a pending liver transplant, hernia repair should be postponed until the time of liver transplant. In patients with refractory ascites and no pending liver transplant, ascites drainage or TIPS should be performed. Once ascites control has been achieved, elective hernia repair should be offered to the patient. In rare cases with ascites refractory to both medical management and drainage procedures, the authors recommend expectant management. Thank you for your attention.